you want to know what else it comes with? An audio jack. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Hey, what's going on everyone? Greg here and with Samsung's recent announcement of the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, there's something missing from these phones that Apple removed all the way back from the iPhone 7. Of course, we are talking about the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. In fact, if you haven't noticed this year, a lot of smartphone manufacturers are following suit with Google removing the headphone jack from its premium flagship offering, the Google Pixel 3 and the Google Pixel 3 XL, with now Samsung removing it from the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, and even other more budget-friendly phones like the OnePlus 7 Pro, they don't have a headphone jack anymore, and most manufacturers are promoting either wireless audio or by still using a physical connection by using either an adapter or I guess a dongle and plugging that either into in Apple's case the lightning port and in the other case of these other smartphone manufacturers into a USB-C port. We've also seen the headphone jack removed from other products like Google's Pixel Slate and also the futuristic Galaxy Fold which Samsung kind of announced and then they didn't ship it and now they're working on it and supposedly it's going to be coming out in September when the iPhones come out so that'll be interesting to see how that shapes up when it is coming out and if it's fixed but for this purpose this futuristic foldable phone this vision of the future that Samsung has doesn't include an audio jack in that device either. But I want to get back to my main point, and that is that Apple was right about removing the headphone jack from its phones. And I think this really is important to call out because both Google and Samsung, the main manufacturers who I'm talking about in this video, both openly mocked Apple when they initially removed the headphone jack from their phones, with Samsung even going as far as getting rid of some of its ingenious ads on YouTube, where they kind of talked about Apple having a dongle, and then if you wanted to charge your phone and listen to audio at the same time, you would need a double dongle. Can I still use these headphones with the TED? Yeah, but you'll need an adapter, or as most people like to call it, a dongle. But what if I just need to charge at the same time? then you're gonna need another type of dongle. Like a double dongle. Yeah, double dongle, I guess. Once Samsung announced the Galaxy Note 10, they actually went ahead, went back, and removed those videos from their YouTube page, kind of trying to rewrite history in a way. And now that they don't have a headphone jack, now they aren't so eager to mock Apple on that front. Forget Samsung and Google, Apple was openly mocked by almost everyone on the internet when Phil Schiller went on stage during the iPhone 7 debut and they talked about removing the 3.5 millimeter audio jack and Phil Schiller said it was Apple's courage and innovation that led them to remove the headphone jack from this product. Well, the reason to move on, I'm gonna give you three of them, but it really comes down to one word, courage. The courage to move on, do something new, that betters all of us, and our team has tremendous courage. And we do have a vision for how audio should work on mobile devices. And that takes us to our next feature, wireless. People obviously didn't see this as a sign of courage. They saw this more as a marketing ploy for things like AirPods, and that Apple removing the headphone jack wasn't courage. It was basically just a marketing scheme. And now as we sit here in the future in 2019, we can see that the headphone jack really isn't that long for these portable mobile devices. And what Apple meant by they had the courage to remove this port was that they were looking forward to the future. They were seeing what features they should remove from products, what legacy things that people maybe aren't using as much anymore, or a way to create a better experience for most of their users. What Phil Schiller really meant when he said Apple had the courage to remove this port is that they were looking into the future. They were seeing that the audio jack wasn't going to be something that was going to be viable in future products. Look at something like the Apple Watch, which didn't ship with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack connection. It only had the ability to connect via Bluetooth and Apple probably developing other things like maybe smart glasses saw that the headphone jack wasn't going to be a viable connection for that much longer. So they saw the writing on the wall on the headphone jack and wanted to move more into wireless audio with products like AirPods, which by now we know, and they were mocked at the time when they were released, but now we know that they are indeed a really great product. 
Furthermore, Apple as a company had the courage to remove the headphone jack because it was the only company that had enough conviction and vision to bear the brunt of the initial attacks for removing the jack. What do I mean by that? Well, it's pretty simple. Could you see a company like Google or Samsung, which mocked Apple for removing the headphone jack, being the first ones to remove this audio port from their mobile devices? I certainly don't think so, based on everything we've seen up until this point. Apple's removal of the headphone jack follows a very similar pattern in their history of removing older legacy ports. Apple removed the PS 2 ports for mice and keyboards in favor of USB, despite the fact that PS2 ports were widely used but inferior to USB. And as someone who had those bent PS2 pins back in the day on their PC, this was a great move for the industry. Apple at the time also removed the floppy drive for better technology like the CD drive, and Apple also removed the CD drive from laptops when it was clear that physical media, especially in computing, was on the decline in favor of digital media. And just like we started with this video, we've seen time and time again where Apple will make some sort of decision to either remove a port or add a design feature like something like the notch, and then companies will openly mock it as it first comes out, and then we see all of these other companies following suit. It's like when the first iPhone came out and at the time Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer said who would want to type on a touch screen when you have other devices with a physical keyboard. And just like we've seen with the physical keyboard and design aesthetics like the notch, the other companies in the marketplace kind of followed suit with Apple's design direction. And now we are seeing the final days of the headphone jack with Samsung removing it from the Note 10. And I imagine all future Galaxy phones will no longer include a headphone jack. And of course their futuristic products like the Galaxy Fold already aren't shipping with a headphone jack. So the writing is pretty much on the wall the headphone jack on our mobile devices will be a thing of the past. And I know some of you are watching this video and you're probably getting mad. Well, why are they removing it? And honestly, there are a couple of reasons why. Number one, Apple wanted to push that wireless technology like AirPods. And like I said before, the wireless audio space has gotten a lot better since Apple has released AirPods. We're seeing a lot of similar competitors like the Galaxy Buds and the wireless audio space is a very interesting place right now with a lot of innovation. And quite frankly, the headphone jack did take up space in those phones. So by getting rid of the headphone jack, you could also add more things to your phone like a bigger battery or maybe even better improved speakers. And most people probably weren't even using those headphone jacks on their phones. I know I talk to a lot of people and I say, well, the new iPhones, they don't have headphone jacks. And they go, well, I never use that port anyway. Listen, am I saying that I hate the headphone jack and I wouldn't want it on a phone? Of course not. Given the option to have a feature versus not have it, I would obviously pick to have every feature available. But the reality is, is that there probably is a compromise if we wanted to keep the headphone jack around. For example, I'm not sure if the way that the iPhone 10 is currently designed would be possible with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack because Apple displays the OLED panels into the back of the phone to kind of achieve that design look where it has a very small bottom chin. And overall, I think the reason is pretty clear for why most of these companies are getting rid of their headphone jacks. Number one, they can't fit them in anymore with the features they wanna pack in there. And more importantly, is that they wanna continue innovation and advancements in the fields of wireless audio. And quite frankly, if these phones were still shipping with headphone jacks, I don't think we would have seen as much innovation and as much improvements as we have in this very short period of time since these companies have started to remove the headphone jack with wireless audio. And I don't know about the people watching this video, but ever since I got a pair of my first AirPods, I have never been tempted to take a physical wire connection to my phone ever again. AirPods are just so freeing when you're wearing them, you can get up, move around, and they just work so simply that I personally haven't really been using physical audio connections to my phone anymore. And I'm willing to bet the large majority of the market is thinking exactly like me. In conclusion, Apple was right to remove the headphone jack, but that's just what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that Apple was right to pull the plug on the headphone jack? 
How do you currently use your phone? Do you use a 3.5 millimeter jack inside of it? Are you like me and you are using a wireless audio solution like AirPods? As always, if you like the video, make sure you give it a like. If you want to see more from this channel, make sure you're subscribed. If you want to support the channel out in any way, make sure you check out some of the links in the description. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.